Hello and welcome. My name is Dylan and today we're going to be talking about the Dead Messenger Catalyst or more specifically we're going to be talking about the fastest way that you can complete the catalyst. Now if we look at the different things here we have to go through and get kills with each of the different um, damage types so each of the different elements. Also for anyone who is curious maybe they're trying to figure out how to swap the damage type for the Dead Messenger Grenade Launcher. All you have to do is hold this reload button and you can see that it's changing my damage type and my teammate is not happy that I'm recording this. So I'm going to go help them finish this, but that is how you do it. You simply re-hold your uh, reload button to change the damage type for the weapon. So you can see that I have 6% in void and all I did was kill six enemies within um, the Psy Ops Battlegrounds that I'm currently in. I just killed six enemies, so it leads me to believe that if you do the uh, the second part there, the, the defeating combatants in the Throne World Psy Ops Battlegrounds or the exotic mission where you got the Catalyst, um, but the easier version, then it leads me to believe that each one of those is 1% for a regular kill. Now I'm going to go find out what a champion kill gets you. Okay, so I killed the champion and it was about 4%. Uh, so I don't think that specifically trying to do something that has champions is necessarily worth it. So that leads me to believe that there are two really good ways to level this up super, super quick. Well, of course, there's the last wish raid method. Um, you could go ahead and do that. But you could go through into the PsyOps Battlegrounds activity. If you launch from destinations, you go to the helm. And right here in the middle is the PsyOps Battlegrounds. You could just queue into this. And just kill enemies throughout. Just spam the launcher as much as you can. And by doing that, you'll get progress very, very quickly. Um, by completing one of these, you can you can complete one and a half of the objectives by doing one of these PsyOps Battlegrounds. It's kind of crazy. The next thing that I would recommend would be to go through to the Eternity. If you have the 30th Anniversary uh, pack, then you go through to Eternity. And here you would go to the dungeon. You launch the dungeon and you just do the first part. You don't actually open up the dungeon. You just keep killing the enemies within the cave. And of course, you're going to want to put ammo, ammo finder mods and scavenger mods and stuff on your armor pieces. So if we look at my armor here, we can see that I currently have stuff on that's going to give me ammo finder and scavenger mods for heavy for rockets because I just did the activity but you would simply just flip this to be for the launchers instead and you could go through and get a ton of progress very quickly from just spamming the cave and the third way that I would recommend to do this if you're just looking for a leisurely time would just be to go to destinations to go to the moon in the bottom left and then over here we're going to see the altars of sorrow so we're going to head over here to the Soros Harbor, and you can simply just spam the enemies there. It's really, really relaxed over in this area. Um, it's not as uh, it's not as focused as trying to, you know, spam the, the cave and make sure that your your farm stays up perfect. And it's also, you know, not running the playlist activity. You're just kind of running around in patrol and killing enemies that way. This is honestly an extremely easy catalyst to level up. Um, or to complete and you can do it very very quickly and for anybody who is curious the perk for the catalyst is using this weapon to break the shield of a combatant or a guardian using their super will grant you an overshield so it just makes you a little bit harder to kill while you're using this weapon unfortunately it's not auto reloading like wither horde but you can go through and grab this progress very very quickly by doing these methods or if you wanted you could do the last wish method as well so anyways, guys, I hope this video helped. Thank you so much for watching. Have a great day, everybody.